Peter the Sparrow. Late autumn was a busy time of the year for the engines on the Normanton and Warwick Railway. The farmers along the line were getting the last of their produce crated and shipped to the markets before the winter frost. Usually the locomotives could handle the extra work, but recently there had been a need to borrow one from the main line to help with the extra demands. So one morning, station Mr. Stacy arrived at the sheds with a new engine. He was very large with a sleek line body and 12 wheels. Good morning everyone. I'd like you all to meet Sparrow. The main line has lent him to us for a few days to help with the extra farm trains. And I expect you all to get along nicely. Now, because Sparrow does not know much about how branch lines work, I'd like you all to help assist him until he learns the routes. Today, Oas, I would like you to give him a hand. <coughs> Excuse me, but may I pick who I'd like to work with today? Very well, Sparrow, but don't take too long. There's a lot of work to do today. After Stacy gave out the work orders for the day, she headed back to her station office. Sparrow gazed at the other engines with a look of disgust. Hmm, too ancient, too grimy. Ugh, don't get me started. Well, I guess it'll have to be you. Come along, then. Electra sighed <sighs> and followed behind. The other engines were not impressed. What cheek! I've never met an engine who said such things. Don't let it get to you, Rudolph. Come along, everyone. We've got a lot of work to do today, even with a spare locomotive to help. At the shunting yard, Sparrow and Electra arrived to collect their first train for the day. Sparrow Ooh. gasped at what he saw lined up for them. What is this? It's called a mixed traffic train. You and Electra are to take these trucks along the line so they can be loaded up with the farmer's goods. This is unacceptable. I demand to pull my express coaches. I'm sorry, Sparrow, but we can't have freight goods loaded into your passenger coaches. Which is the point? I am a fine passenger locomotive, only to pull very important people like our railway directors. Hee <laughs> hee, sounds like you were poorly designed then if you can only handle one type of cargo. B what? Poorly designed? I'll show you. Come on, Electric. Thanks, Trixie. And so, Electra and Sparrow were connected up to the train. Electra wanted to be up front so she could help guide Sparrow down the track, but Sparrow refused to connect himself to anything that wasn't his passenger coaches. Once everything was ready, the duo pulled out of the yard and onto the branch line. However, Sparrow would not stop grumbling and moaning all the way down the line. Ugh, are we there yet? I hate going this slow. Electra tried her best to tolerate these complaints. I hope you're watching the tracks, Sparrow. Don't need to. I'm a sleek top-of-the-line passenger locomotive. With the latest technology that allows me to travel without looking down at the tracks even once. Sparrow, I have automatic warning systems too. It's not new technology. And besides, it's very dangerous not to keep an eye out. You don't know what's up ahead. Hmm. Only slow trains who idly stare at the countryside say that. It was clear that Sparrow had no clue what he was saying, and Electra was regretting letting Sparrow go up front. They stopped at stations and farms along the line, picking up and dropping off produce as they went. The constant going and stopping bothered Sparrow a lot. This is ridiculous. Why do we have to keep doing this? Because, Sparrow, there's a lot of farms along the line that need us to help spread their goods throughout the community. You may not like it, but freight trains are just as important as your passenger services. For a moment, Electra thought that Sparrow might have lightened up. But he just grumbled more. Puh, nonsense. If they wanted to spread their goods, they should use trucks. 
and leave us with the passenger trains. But Sparrow, think about it. It would take many trucks to move the amount of goods we can carry in a single train. And the roads around here can't handle that kind of traffic. But Sparrow wouldn't listen. And they started off with a nasty jerk. Oof! Electra wasn't sure, but she thought she heard a cracking sound in the coupling between them. Down the line, a signal was set to danger. But wanting to get his jobs done quickly, Sparrow completely ignored it. Thankfully, Electra saw it as they zoomed past. Sparrow, we need to stop. That signal was set to danger. Nonsense. My AWS would have buzzed if something was wrong. Yes, but our branch line is not equipped with an automatic warning system. And she desperately tried to apply her brakes. Oh, please slow down. We need to stop and radio for instructions. We have passengers aboard! But Sparrow would not listen, and he pulled even harder. Ugh, come on, I want to get this job done quickly! Sparrow had pulled so hard that the coupling between him and Electra finally broke free, and he sped down the line. Ha ha, I'm free! I'm gonna go back and get my passenger coaches! But his joy didn't last for long. Sparrow forgot that he was speeding faster and faster, and he took the next bend too quickly and crashed onto his side. Oh, yuck! Someone help me! Electra managed to slow down and radio for help. Electra to control! Sparrow has crashed near Mrs. Farmer Brown's farm after passing a danger signal. Over! We'll send help. Try and carry on with the train as best you can, and take caution. Over! Don't leave me here! I'm sorry, Sparrow. I can't stay. The passengers need to get to their stations. Don't go anywhere! Very funny. And so, Electra carried on without Sparrow. Down the line, Electra met up with Oas. What's the danger, Oas? That silly cow has escaped from its field again. Do keep an eye out for it, will you? Okay, thank you, Alice. <laughs> Electra worked very hard for the rest of the day and managed to deliver their train of goods on her own. Sparrow, on the other hand, could do nothing except watch the other trains pass. I've got mud in my air ducts! <coughs> Late that day, Beatrice arrived to help lift Sparrow back onto the tracks. Stacy had also arrived. She was not happy at all. Oh, Sparrow, what were you thinking going past a danger signal? Sparrow said nothing. Well, Sparrow, I hope you learned a valuable lesson about observing signals, not just relying on your gadgets all the time, because I'm sadly going to have to report this accident to the railway directors. Again, Sparrow said nothing. Once he was on the rail, Beatrice pulled him to the workshops to be cleaned and checked over. Sparrow just sulked all the way. At the end of the day, Station Mr. Stacy had the locomotives gathered at the roundhouse. Well done everyone for putting in the hard efforts today. Unfortunately, it looks like you'll have to run the railway with just the four of you for a little while longer. A sparrow will be needing to go back to the mainline workshops for repairs. But rest assured, he will be back to help us again in the future. Well, let us hope that he has a better time when he comes back in future. And I'm sure we hope so too. <laughs> <laughs>